welcome to Taylor International Hotel. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Xing Hui. Uh, I'm from Learning and Development Department. I am your trainer today. Uh, I will be working at this hotel around three years. Okay, so please you are the new staff in our hotel. So can you introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm just graduated from Taylor's University. Do you know what is our training today? Mm. No. Okay, so this is our lesson plan. Uh, our title is Professional Entire Grooming Standard. Uh, in this lesson, we will take around 10 to 15 minutes and I will highlight all the points of the do's and don'ts, females and males. Okay, so do you know what is grooming? Okay, for grooming, um, is to take yourself, look nice, neat, and clean. You can see is there wearing uh, professional dresses? Uh, I don't think they are professionally dressed because they are too casual for hospitality to work. So you can see they are not professional. Me, this in our hospitality line. Okay. Okay, so um, from here I can see you have some basic uh, on how to dress professionally and grooming professionally. Okay, so this is our objective. Um, this objective is to understand and the entire and grooming standard of the establishment. After this training, you can understand how to wearing a professional in our hospitality line. Okay, why is so important of grooming? Okay, so because if you are in hospitality line, uh, you are the first impression to the guests and it's very important. And because it will carry the image of the hotel towards to the guests and actually have a negative impact on the guests and it also very directly affect to our hotel okay so we can see this uh, now i'm going to talk about the male entire and grooming standard mm, the men uh, men need to have a nice comb hair and you need to wear white shirt inside and black coat because um, they will look like professionally in our hotel line and the uniform we will give uh, in your first training in our hotel and it will depends in your department okay so um, you also Earring. You have to wear black socks and black shoes and also black pants. Okay, so this is how the male entire grooming. Okay, okay so I will show a video that as a man how to tie a tie. Hello, I'm Charles from Louis Purple, and today I'm going to teach you how to tie a Windsor knot. The Windsor knot is actually a very simple knot uh, to tie, and it's very useful because it projects uh, confidence. So it's a wide triangular knot that's very suitable for presentation, job interviews, or cultural appearances, which I hope you don't uh, frequent too often. So this is how you start. You just find the right balance depending on the length of your tie with the wide end on the right hand side and the narrow end on the left. You might want to adjust exactly where, where the center of the tie should be uh, in the middle of your neck. So this is how you start. You cross over the wide end over the narrow end. You bring the wide end through the loop between
between the collar and the tie, and you bring the white end back down. Then you just pull the white end underneath, and then bring it up through the loop again in order to have a symmetrical shape, which is uh, which should look like this. And you're almost done. That's only the easy part left and the most rewarding. Put the white end in front, bring the white end underneath, and then slide it inside the loop and tighten the knots. You draw the knot up in order to fit your collar. So it's a knot that's really suitable for widespread, widespread collar. As I said, and then you can just adjust and tighten uh, how big of a knot you like to obtain. This is how you tie a Windsor knot. Okay, so this is the way how to tie a tie. For the female entire grooming standard, okay, so you can take wood and. Alright. For for female, you need to have a clean and professional hairstyle. Like you need to bun your hair, and beside you, you not wear a earring like big one. The uniform also white shirt and black coat. Depends on your department. Okay, so if wearing skirt, you need to wear the knee length skirt and also the natural color of stocking and a high heel. The high heel is about one inch. Okay, so okay, so now I will show you how to bind a correctly hair bind. Okay. Army Hair presents a tutorial, the soft bun. Comb your hair into a low ponytail. Secure your ponytail with a non-slip hair elastic. For a polished finish, run hair gel or a smoothing and hold product of your choice through your ponytail. Pull your ponytail through the soft bun insert. Place the soft bun insert against your head. Spread your ponytail over the soft bun insert and cover it completely. Use a comb or brush to smooth and spread hair. Use a smaller, regular hair elastic and pull it over your bun evenly in a single motion. Feel your bun or look in a mirror to ensure your hair is tight and even all over your soft bun insert. The loose leftover hair can be finished in several ways to include braids, twists, or pulling the hair flat. I am finishing my bun by twisting the hair away from the head for the purpose of concealing the hair elastic. Tuck the smaller portion of your twist under the thicker portion. Pin the loose end using a bobby pin. Continue to pin your twist to the hair adjacent to your scalp. Use large bobby pins for hair which has more weight. Secure it to your comfort level. I use two large and four small bobby pins for my bun. Check your 
protect your body from all angles. So I think I already know how to bond my hair now. Okay, so factor of grooming. Uh, always be smart. Um, at the front line, you need to create a very friendly and nice interaction with the guests. Okay, so always act with honestly. Um, one, this is our one rule that we go by our hotel. Um, also be helpful and cooperation with each other. And always find out you can be better for the guests. And always, you always need to say please, thank you, you are welcome as part of your everyday courtesy. And take responsibility for your mistake, apologize and go about correctly mistake. Never blame someone at least if it is your mistake. So this is a polite to the guests. It will give them feel like nice welcome them. So do you have any question? I have no question. Okay, maybe you can come here. So to say you think your dresses are professional? No. Okay. So start from tomorrow you need to know how to wear